Hello again, Bill St. George. The last of the uh, bald head cliff painting. This will be the last one, then we'll, we'll hit the road and we'll do a little, as I mentioned on the last show, we'll do a little travel log down towards Agunquit. Just show you some of the some of the sites for the last perhaps 10, 10 minutes of the show. So we'll just keep going with this. And uh, I'm sure you get enough ocean shots to last you a couple lifetimes. But anyway, we'll just keep going. Oh, the light is getting really beautiful here. Just the best. Winslow Homer painted up here a lot. Painted in Agunquet, he painted in York, he painted just about everywhere around this area. You know, Barnett Newman, this abstract painter, used to come up here to paint. I think all a, a lot of the greats came up here to do it, to paint, have some fun. I haven't used pink at all. I'm going to use a little pink in there. Ah, that's nice. Get some light going in there. And you just look around and go to another spot and there's something else that's a little interesting, you know? Something to bring it out. Bring out the form a little bit more. Okay. Let's yeah, see what I can do here. Yeah. Yeah, that yellow actually looks looks pretty darn good, you know, the cadmium yellow thrown in there, a little white, a little bit of pink. And this coming out like this. Make this jut out a little bit more. Put a bit of a little you know, something other than the usual. Yeah, there we go. It's getting really bright towards the uh, towards the end there, so the back part. So I'm gonna see if I can. Hit that. Yep. There we go. Wow! Somebody shut off the uh, shut off the water. Hmm. Nope. Guess not. Here it comes. Some of this red and purple in there. So there are definite, definite angles. That, you know where the the boulders are. The part of this cliff over the years has has broken, and uh, I think I may have mentioned, I don't know, on one of the shows, but the, the uh, striation, the, uh, the, the, the color, or not the color, but the uh, angle of the rocks, when they came up from, from the ground, instead of turning, they went, so you can tell by the lines in the rocks, that they only, they only came up a certain, instead of turning over, they came up straight up, so these should all be running parallel or horizontally instead of vertically the way they are, so kind of a neat little thing to know. I'm sure you're all excited. <coughs> there we go. Let's see if I can... Why do I hate that so much? I keep on putting the same line in there, you know? 
same horrible mistake. Whatever. No, it's going to be a little darker than that. There we go. something going here. Be about the 90th time I painted this thing. Alright, I'll go back into the screen. I think it's to go into it with detail and pull a detail out, you know, repaint it or do whatever you have to do to make it work. Now this comes out like this. Yep. Not straight out, but out at an angle. And then there's a rock there. It's amazing how you, you know, come out here and, you know, you, until you start painting, I don't think, or some kind of a endeavor where you, where you have to look at something, find it, really look at it. Do you see all these amazing things? How can anybody be bored with life, man? I mean, just so much going on. So much you can see. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. You got to keep track of the time because of the. Ten minutes. Huh? Ten minutes? Yeah. I think ten should do it. Do it just just fine. Wow, does that look brutal? Well, let's go back up in it. I'm gonna paint the whole thing in again. I'm gonna probably wait until it dries. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe hit it now. Yeah, it looks pretty bad now. So maybe I'll go back in when it's dry. This I. Absolutely, this test. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if I embellish the, uh, the rock around it here, Let's bring some of that rock in there. Let's see what happens. I want to do this, 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 this. Ah, pretty little clouds. What that artist there he used to go on TV with a squirrel in his, bring his pet squirrel with him. They learn a lot how to raise a squirrel. Oh. Care and feeding of a squirrel. All right, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to fix that anymore. That's it. It's going to bring the uh, bring this up a little bit higher here. So Kiowa is on his way to California, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, California. <laughs> oh, Las Vegas first, California second. Right? No? Utah. Uh, oh, Utah. Are you going to California at all? No? Uh, no slot machines there. <laughs> Bring John Murray with you. <laughs> okay. Wow. Look at the way the color is now, and like in that orange and the base. See how much it's changed now? It's just amazing. I don't know. It's just I think the secret is to keep 
you know, you get a painting going, you want to keep the light and the, the shadow, which I've emphasized a number of times, the same consistency throughout, are the same. In other words, if you start a painting and the light is in a certain certain way and the shadows have already been established, then by rights, keep keep it keep it going. How are we doing? 13 minutes. That's it? You, you cut it off just then? I can look at those three more minutes here. No, oh, actually, actually, yeah. Can we go three? Yeah. All right. We'll go a few more minutes. You get the sound back on again? The sound is on. Oh, the sound. Oh, okay. I guess it is. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna head out from here. We're gonna go out to uh, a gun quit. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna call this quits for now. I think we got. You know, it looks pretty good. It looks looks. Looks fair. Fair to Midland. You just got to keep pushing, keep moving the pain. Anyway, it's Bill St. George. I'll see you in the car, okay? Thanks, Q. Way back to a gun. No? Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> on our way back to the Cliff House. and I mean, we're not leaving the Cliff House. On our way back to, uh, we'll just take a ride around and see this place really quick. It's really quite nice, quite spectacular. Uh, and there it is. That's the uh, resort and spa, I guess. And this is uh, this is the Cliff House itself. Really nice, very nice. Okay, we we'll click that off, and we'll go to another spot. Dunquit Museum of Fine Art, right over there. A nice little place situated on a beautiful ledge overlooking the ocean. Okay. And this street up here actually, is it still running? Yeah? yeah. Huh? Yes. Okay, this is uh if you can see the name of the street, it's Woodbury Lane. Uh, Charles Woodbury the artist. Anyway. Somebody is impatient there. That's the street that was named after him. The family home is there. Anybody familiar with New England painters from the turn of the century? Turn of the 20th century, actually into the 20th century, early part. And we're coming down into uh, Perkins Cove. Yeah, this is the Riverside Motel on the other side of Perkins Cove. We'll show you what it looks like from the other side. Really quite spectacular. Another place we painted actually from the lawn over there, looking over about maybe 15 years ago, something like that, quite a while ago. In fact, I have some drawings of these, this bridge and the trees, and it's really quite nice. I guess this is a private residence, but if you look over there, Q, you can you can spot Perkins Cove from the back. Okay, and yeah, we'll we'll continue. You going? Okay. Hey, we're going to take a right and go into uh, Perkins Cove. This is a great little place. It is very beautiful. It used to be inhabited by fishermen. They had little fishing cottages down near the water. And then they left and uh, artists took over. They, you know, they used them as studios. And that's what started. The whole town actually was started by artists. And uh, that gets quickly forgotten as the... Uh, the money starts coming in and buying everything up. So, I don't know, how's that for a rant? Look at this. This is quite beautiful. I'm gonna have to watch out for the uh, for the traffic and for people here. So, uh, let me maybe we'll stop up here for a quick minute and take a look at the at at Perkins Cove. Da 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 da. Get alive in this show up. I'm gonna I'm gonna run these people over by parking in the bus stop. Oh, it's okay. This is a trolley, trolley route. Yeah, you can get out here if you want and go shoot, and I'll uh, shoot Perkins Cove. That footbridge over there, straight ahead, that gets that's a, a drawbridge, and uh, you press a button there, and every everybody has a turn, no matter what. You see a boat coming through, you press the button, and the thing opens up. But if you want to shoot some. Some nice stuff in there you can if you want or 
Maybe we got enough here. Okay, we'll come, we'll come going down into the uh, little shopping area. Little funky little shops and restaurants and stuff. Anyway, I don't know if these people are going to move for this truck. I guess so. Anyway, uh, a couple of artists. One I knew in particular, his name was George Carpenter. He was a great painter. I thought, I'll Yeah, anyway, uh, George Carpenter was a great artist and unfortunately died a few years back. This goes actually out to the point out here. Boy, a lot of people here today. Must be the weather. Got everything going for it down here, I'll tell you. I think I'm going to get out of this place while we still can. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Anyway, this is there's a little bit of something for everyone here, especially people of all of all shapes and sizes coming from all over the world to Perkins Cove. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. Actually, this is we're still in Perkins Cove, but if you look over towards the right and we'll get a squeak in between where that lady with the red is sitting. That's the end of the Marginal Way. The Marginal Way is really spectacular. It's a walk from the main beach in Agunquit down here, and I don't know how long it is, a couple miles maybe, but really nice. Go ahead. This is the back entrance into uh, the Colonial Inn. It's a way we used to sneak in because they have guest houses and uh, they have the main house and then they have these places here called guest houses and then the owner of the place actually lived in one of the houses that was on the property and whoops, I don't know, are they going straight? Uh, hmm. Anyway. Is that the way we came in? I don't know. Jimmy and I used to stay here because we were too loud in the inn, so they put us in this place. And we used to throw parties there <laughs> instead. It was great. My wife and I and the kids came up here when the kids were older. But it was just a, just a terrific place. And I think it's the oldest inn in, uh, look at it, it's filled to capacity. It's the oldest inn uh, in Agunquit. Really nice. I don't know if the manager is still there. Yeah, there he is. Still there. Oh. But that's it. That's the sign for the Colonial Inn. We'll take a quick ride down to the main beach and wrap this up, okay? As you can see, this place gets really busy on a nice day, but it's really one of the one of the prettiest uh, prettiest places on the north. In the north, it's like uh, it's the um, P town is the farthest south, I guess, on the Cape. This is this is the opposite side of uh, the opposite end. And this gallery here, Van Ward Gallery, you can see the sign there. Is Chris Carviello. That's his little gallery down there in the end. Uh, you can see it down the right. Yeah, Chris is a friend of mine from years, years back. It was represented by his gallery. Hopefully we'll be again and get back up here. Uh, we'll take a, we'll take a quick run. How much time we got? Two minutes. Yeah, we can take a quick run down to the main beach, so and then head out if you want to uh, kill it now. Yeah, nice little, nice little center. Yellow porch, on the front porch, I mean. Yellow awnings, really nice and bright. Oh, nice flowers and stuff around. It's just, uh, it's just a great little place. Okay, now if we can get this guy to move this Cadillac here, we're in good shape. 
there's a parking area here. Well, I'm not stopping because my brakes don't work. Aye. It's a loading zone here. Okay, this is, uh, we're heading towards the main beach. This on the left is actually the, uh, the Agunquit River. That's the inlet on high tide. And uh, that's where it comes over on the other side. And when we're down, there's, yeah, that's the main beach. I don't know, we want to head home now. So uh, we'll wrap up this little little sojourn. This is Bill St. George. I guess we're, we're about at the end of the show, right? The end of the time-wise. But hey, we had fun. I hope you did. It was sunny. It was pleasant. Uh, the rocks were rocks and the ocean was wet and uh, everything worked out well. So again, remember to keep painting. We'll see you again soon.